Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create views in Microsoft Project and save those views for all your future projects and also save them into Project Online so that everybody in your organization can do that, have access to those views as well. To be able to do that for Project Online, however, you will need to be logged in as, as an administrator into Project Online. All right, I'm going to show you how to create a view. So right now, um, I've got a very basic project schedule here that I've created and I have phase one, a few tasks and milestones. The point isn't how complicated my schedule is, but how I can create a view and save that view. So here's a couple of things I'm going to do just to change it up a little bit. I'm going to insert a new column. So you might want to have like the work column next to duration, any columns that you want in here. I mean, you can see I've highlighted my milestone tasks in light blue. I'm going to do the same thing for my summary tasks. This is personal styling preferences for me. I like to come in here and make the background color kind of a light green of my summary tasks. And there we go. All new summary tasks that I create will have that light green automatically. Right. So as I put some tasks beneath it, I can say three. All right, and then I'll indent these tasks underneath, and that phase two becomes a milestone, and zero days from a milestone. And there we go. It is now light blue because it, I give it zero days, and now it's a milestone. All right. So however you want your view to be. You can create filters for views. If I come in here and filter it and say, just show me milestones, for example, it's just going to show me the milestones. I can actually get rid of those summary tasks as well. If I put milestones here and then uncheck show related summary tasks, this is just a milestone view that I could use for my entire organization to just show the milestones in my project. Great idea. Let's create that view and save it out and let everybody have access to it. All right. So the first thing we need to do is save the view locally. So I'm going to click on tables. I'm going to save the table. So I click more tables. This is, a, I want a copy of the entry table. Click copy. I'm going to call this milestone table. All right. And if you want, just so you know that they are custom, you can do an underscore. All right. So I've got a milestone table. Apply it. So now that's the current table being used for this current view. You see the view name here on the left hand side is Gantt chart. That will change. You see the, the filter here is milestones filter. I'm going to click more views here. It's just the way I do it. I click more views rather than just saving the view. Uh, I've got Gantt chart. I'm going to make a copy of Gantt chart. I'm going to call it underscore milestone view. All right, and you can see by default, because I've applied that underscore milestones table, it's already got it. I guess I browsed, I, I, I glazed over it, but the table is the selection of columns that you have within the view. All right, so in here we have the data section and you can see it's got those columns. That's the table. So I've created the view. I've got a milestone filter. You can do different highlighting. You can different, do different group buys. Uh, I'm just going to actually, you can see it's, it's lost my milestones. I want the, in fact, yeah, the milestone filters is good. All right, so I'm going to save this view now. To do that, I come into, oh, I've already done it. There it is, milestone view is saved. What I meant to say is I want to save this to the enterprise global so that everybody in my organization can do this within Project Online. I'm going to show you how to do that. So I am logged into administrator, file, info, organizer, open enterprise global. Now be very careful, do not click anywhere. If you click in here anywhere, it will save that as a new view, All right? That's how it works in Microsoft Project. Whenever you click anywhere in Microsoft Project, it creates a new view for you, right? Because it's going to adjust that view potentially, All right? So it saves the changes that you may have made to that view. So the way I do this, I don't do anything in my enterprise, can, uh, in my enterprise global checked out. All I'll do is create something extra in a, in a standalone file that I'll then delete and not use again. But what I will do is within the enterprise global is I'll use the organizer to push that over. So I'm going to click in file, info, organizer, organizer. And you can see the first thing I want to do is my filter. And on the left hand side, I can see all my filters. If I scroll down, where is my milestones filter? There it is. 
at, over in the Enterprise Global. I'm going to click in Views, and I've got my milestone view. Let's put that over in the Enterprise Global. I've got my table, milestone table. Let's put that over in the Enterprise Global. So whatever you've created custom, whether it's filters, whether it's tables, whether it's the view, they all need to be moved over into the Enterprise Global to be made available for all future projects. All right, so that's done. I'm going to click Close. I'm going to save my Checked Out Enterprise Global. Save it. You see it's saving, Checked Out Enterprise Global. Save completely successfully. You don't need to publish. It's not that kind of deal. Close it. Do you want to check it in? Yes, you do. Absolutely. To reload that Enterprise Global, what I need to do is actually close out Microsoft Project and reopen it. So I'm going to save that project and check it in. Now I'm going to discard it. I just created it for the purposes of creating a view. Let's close out Microsoft Project. And let's reopen it. Connect it to PWA. And now when I click blank project, I should be able to come into the Gantt chart view and see my new milestones view. All right, let's see if it works. Let's create some tasks, right? So A, B, C, and then milestone. Make that zero days. Oh, I've got to make these auto schedule. You can obviously do that for all new tasks down the bottom. Let's do that for these tasks here. Oh, what am I doing? Come on. And let's select auto scheduled. And then let's click there. Control B to fill down. All right. So now that's a milestone. Let's try out my new view. Milestone view. Boom. There it is. You can see if I click view, the table, it's using the, oh, it's not showing it, but it, it will show you that it's using the uh, milestones table. The Gantt chart, you can see. It's the milestone view, and it's using that milestone filter that we previously selected. Great stuff. There we go. It's now available for all my projects across my organization. Now, if you're just doing that on your local Microsoft project version and you're not using Project Online, whenever you come into the organizer tool, you will notice that you have this global plus non-cached, right? So that's always going to be all the views that you've ever created. Whenever you create a new project, all right, let's say, let's say you have a project and you like a view, you can take it and move it from the current project, or in this case, this would be the current project, and move it over to the local global. So there's global, and then there's enterprise global. The local global is just for your version of Microsoft Project. Microsoft Project is just the one schedule. And then once you've checked out the enterprise global, you can move things into the enterprise global and make them available for all projects. A note on that, whenever you do that, make sure you're very careful that you don't have duplicate views. If you do, you'll see uh, whenever you load up Microsoft Project, it will say, oh, you've got two views with the same name. You need to rename one. At that point, you need to come into the organizer tool, check out the Enterprise Global and delete those duplicate views. That's why I was very careful when I did things in the exact order that I did it today to avoid that from ever happening. So please be careful. Hope this is helpful for you. Um, please like and share and subscribe to my channel for more detailed information about Microsoft Project. Thank you so much.